Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make rolling credits in Premiere Pro. In this project, we've got this video clip, which I'm just going to add to the timeline. And let's say we want to add credits at the end of this surf clip. For this, you need to go in the left hand side and find an item that says new item and choose black video from that. And this will create a new black video clip for you. So you can choose the time base here. I'll go with 30 FPS. Click OK. And now we've got the black video clip created on the left hand side. So let's just drop it into the timeline right after my current clip ends. Now we need the essential graphics panel. So if you don't have it here on the right hand side, then just go into window and select essential graphics. That'll pop up the essential graphics panel on the right hand side. From here, we want to select the edit tab. Let's just make this editing area a little bit larger. So here, let's scroll through to where black video is. This is where we want our credits to be. So we can select the text tool and pretty much just, we can start to type, we can click and start typing. So I'm going to say film credits. Now I want to center this. So I'm just going to choose center and center. And let's make sure that our clip actually starts at the same time as the black video starts. You can choose your font if you want to change the font. We can also adjust the size of the text. So we can make it a little bit larger. Let's just make sure that it's centered again. Now let's just make it a little bit smaller again. So I'm going to drag this. Okay. This probably looks a little bit better. And from here, if you just go to where it says edit, and then it's got this layer of film credits, just click below it to deselect film credits like this. And from here, you can click this option that says roll. So this is going to create the basic roll for you. And it's already good to go for us. So if we play and preview this, you can see that just where this clip ends, our credits are starting to roll. So this is how you create the foundation of it. And then after this, you can continue adding more layers and add a few more options. So the next thing after this that you can do is just uh, select new layer and create a new layer of text. And let's just scroll through in time a little bit further. And now we can drag this layer of text to be under our film credits. This is where we can put the first credit. So perhaps we can make it a little bit smaller in size like this. And then over here, we can put in director, then go tab tab, and we can center it using the text controls here on the bottom right. So just center this like that. You can also use this control over here, horizontal center to get it nicely centered. So now you can create uh, as many credits as you need at the bottom. So you can go ahead and duplicate this if you'd like. That's also an easy option to do that. So let's move this new layer down underneath where it says director. Okay. And we can now say screenplay. Let's see how all of this looks together. So we'll just go back to the end of the previous clip. Okay. So now we see, uh, we see that everything is starting to roll. So you can continue adding more and more credits underneath. Let's just quickly look at the options that you've got some of the additional options. If the film credits are rolling too fast, then all you've got to do is just select these couple of layers and drag them out in time. So if you make this longer then the actual speed with which they are rolling will slow down. So you can see now they're starting to roll quite a bit slower than what they did before. If you want it to be even slower, you can just drag this out a bit more. And this is how you control the speed with which they scroll up. So now you can see this is a lot slower again. Couple of other options. If you select this layer again and go into the options here at the bottom, there are a few other things. So one is start off screen. So if you have that unchecked, then it's actually going to start while it's on screen. Okay. So if you wanted to roll up from underneath, you need to make sure that this is checked and you want to end it off screen as well. Then make sure that this is checked as well. Now pre roll and post roll. So those control how quickly the effects take to roll into the screen. So they pretty much start immediately. If you want it to be a little bit delayed, you can choose to start it at one second, for example, like this. And let's see what that does. So this is going to wait one second after the first clip ends before the credits start rolling. So this creates a nice transition that's a bit smoother. Another way to get a smoother transition is to use the easy in option instead of pre roll. So I'm going to set pre roll back to zero, but then I'm going to add three seconds into is in. So this is going to ensure that for the first three seconds, the speed is slower. So they start out slower and then they pick up the speed uh, to make it more obvious. I'm just going to shorten all of these and you will now see that for the first three seconds, they're easing in and then they're picking up 
more and more speed after three seconds. So this is what this option over here does, ease in. You can also do, th do the same thing with ease out. So you can say that for the last three seconds, you want it to ease out as well. So let's see what that's now actually going to do now. Okay, so they're easing in, then they're starting to roll reasonably fast, and then they're gonna slow down for the last three seconds. See how the last few lines are slowing down. So these are the other controls that you've got available to you for rolling credits. You can continue building up more and more layers of text. Last thing that I'd like to share with you is that you can actually add an image in here as well. So if you've got a logo or if you've got any other graphics, you can create a new layer here and choose from file. And so now if you wanted to add any graphics, you could do that over here. Just make sure that you adjust the position and then you can of course adjust the size as well. So let's just move that back up. So something like that. Let's see how all of that looks now together. Okay, you can see now our credits are rolling up and there is an image. So you can insert any logos, any other graphics that you want over here this way. And once again, if you feel like it's scrolling too fast, you can just drag this out and it will start scrolling up a lot slower. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you found this useful, then please hit like just below this video. This will really help me with the YouTube algorithm. And also of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you receive updates from me when I upload my next Adobe Premiere tutorials. Thank you very much. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.